Hey guys, welcome back to RC Profits. And if you're new here, we'll help beginners learn and make real profits. So to continue with the Roller Coin 101 series, let's talk about how your power translate your earnings. Kung magkano ba talaga kinikita mo? So in this episode, we'll go through the basic units of power, the different types of power, what network power is, how to cal calculate your earnings, the slow and the fast way, and finally, how much power do you need to hit a target monthly income, okay? So as a beginner, you've probably seen miners with label like GH or TH or EH uh, or even ZH, okay? So these units show how strong a miner miner's power is. So the smallest is GH, okay, or Giga Hash. Not so sure if you have Giga Hash right here. So basically, the smallest is GH. So I have TH right here. Okay, so it's GH, then TH, okay, then PH, EH, then finally ZH. So these units show how strong miners, like I mentioned before. So GH is Giga Hash per second. Okay, from there it scales up. So one TH or Tera Hash, this one, TH. Tera hash equals 1000 GH and 1 PH or Petra hash equals 1 um, <clears throat> equals 1000 TH or 1 million GH. Okay, then comes EH. Currently, I have that's my mining power right now 3.7 EH. So 1 EH or exa hash is a thousand PH. Okay, so once you reach 1000 PH, it will automatically show one eh okay and finally zh or zeta hash which is a thousands thousand eh okay so the progression goes gh th ph eh and finally zh so most beginners will see their power in gh and th first and as you scale up you'll hit ph then eh and eventually dream about reaching zh so just to give into perspective the number one player in roller coin right now sits at around 3.8 ZH, okay? So, compare that to my 3 EH and his mining power, it's literally a thousand times stronger than mine, okay? So, that's a huge, huge gap, okay? So, now let's talk about the three main types of power that you need to understand, okay? So, the first is raw power. Raw power is the base amount you get directly from miners, okay? So, um, if I choose one miner right now, example this one, okay? Or example this one, it's um, the ro roller roller ro roller run 741. It's 2.730 TH, okay? So that's a ro raw power that it gives, okay? This is the base amount you get directly from miners, okay? Second is temporary power, okay? So temporary power, you mostly get this at usually usually last around 24 or 7 24 hours or 7 days before expiring so often earned through mini games okay so let's say we finish one game right here it will give you a power this icon right here it will give you a that's the temporary power meaning that it's not permanent okay and the, finally and the most important is the bonus power okay so bonus power is where your multiplier comes in. So bonus miners racks. So example, if you choose right here, let's see it. So here, the carve north rack six, it gives you 30% bonus, okay? And from the pip hamster, aside from the raw uh, power right here, it gives you 7.67 bonus power, okay? So it gives you a percentage boost on your total mining power. And that multiplier often makes the biggest difference to your earnings, okay? Next is the network power. Network power is right here. We talked about it in the past, but just for a recap, network power is the combined total of all of the players existing that's mining in the game. Over time, it always rises because new player joins. When I joined, I think it was around only around 4 million. Now we're already at 5 million. Okay, So as network power goes up, your share of the pie naturally gets smaller unless you also increase your own power. Okay. So the network itself produces blocks right here. So which are the unit of mining in RollerCoin. Every 10 minutes, it's always 10. So every 10 minutes, blocks are distributed across the players mining that coin. So right now, I'm mining um, XRP. So every 10 minutes, the game, RollerCoin, gives me 20, 20 blocks 
as part of the network power and that 20 blocks um, correlates to 0.002387 XRP per every 10 minutes, okay? So it doesn't matter if the system divides rewards into many smaller blocks or a few larger. At the end of the cycle, it's just a proportion or number that stays exactly the same. So it doesn't matter if the block is 10 or 30. What matters is how much does it give you, okay? It's just a, just a way for the system to divide the reward among all of the players, okay? Now let's compute our total mining power. So the formula is simple. So we add each miner's raw power plus its miner bonus. Then apply the rack bonus to the sum. Okay, so again, we're gonna apply the raw power, then the minus add uh, the bonus, then we'll just add it all up. Okay. So to demonstrate, let's compute my three highest rack as an example. So in this rack. I have three miners, Pip Hamster, which gives 40.934 Petra hash rate and a 7.67 bonus. For the second miner, it's Dutch Van Squeak with 30 Petra hash rate and a 8% bonus. And lastly, the Blaster Ball with 28.960 Petra hash rate and a 9% bonus. Okay, So first, let's compute the miners' um, individual bonus. So Pip Hamster, again, 40.934. We're going to multiply it by its bonus power, okay? So like I mentioned, it's 7.67, right? So it's 7.67% bonus of the initial raw power, which is 40.934, okay? So 40.934 times 0 0.0767, which is 3.13 Petra hash rate of bonus. So that bonus plus my raw power of Pip Hamster, that's 40.93 plus 3.13, so that <clears throat> rounds up to 44.07 okay so like i mentioned raw power times the equivalent of the bonus power and the addition of both of them okay dutch van squeak same 30 raw power bonus 8 percent so 0 0.08 times 30 2.4 that's the bonus power 2.4 bonus plus the raw it's 32.4 petra hash rate okay blaster ball 28.9 plus um 9 percent of bonus so that's 0 0.09 that's 2.6 Petra hash bonus, okay? Adding that to the raw power, 31.5 Petra hash rate, okay? Then if you add them all together, those three um, total power of the racks, three racks, it's 108.04 Petra hash rate. Then next, then next, let's apply the bonus rack. Since like this rack, it gives 30% bonus, okay? So the total amount of three racks times the bonus of the rack, which is 0. It, which is 30%, which is 0 0.30. So we'll times that. That's 32.412 Petra hash. Bonus from the rack only. So we're going to add that to the summation of all of the total of the three racks. So that's 32.41 plus the raw. It's 108.04. So it gives a total of 140.452 Petra hash of total mining power for this rack and their individual three miners okay so from just three miners with a raw total of 99 the raw once we include their individual bonus and the 30 percent rack the power jumps up to 140 okay so that's 40 percent increase thanks to bonuses alone so that's why bonuses are so important so like here currently you can see i have 3.783 um eh but my bonus power is 340 percent okay so just to give you an idea, here's my profile stat. <clears throat> so my miners only amounts to 800 Petra hash rate, not even 1 EH. But because of the bonus power, it gives me 2.7 EH. So that's really massive. So majority of the time, um, when the higher players um, have miners, it really boils down to their percentage or how big their miners are so just to give you the number one rank player right now his miners are only 50 53.951 eh the raw and the bonus are uh, the raw itself but with the bonus it's 3.815 zh so that's very massive okay majority of it it's coming from the bonus and not from the raw miners alone okay so to recap total mining power that equals to the sum of raw power plus minor bonuses okay times that with one plus the rack bonus okay 